we begin, I'll uh, let you know about myself. So I have about uh, yes, 10 years please. of experience as a business analyst. So, and uh, I've started giving trainings about three years back. And okay. uh, I've, uh, I work as a freelancer and uh, I've, associated, I've been associated with Tech Canvas from the past couple of years. And I myself, uh, I'm a certified uh, product owner and a certified Scrum practitioner as well. I am also certified uh, as an uh, ITL uh, V3 practitioner. And uh, initially I was into uh, product management uh, related stuff because uh, the business an analysis profile and product management more or less go hand in hand. Uh, so my take on being a business analyst uh, nowadays since uh, I've seen, I've been in the industry for about 10 odd years and I've seen that the business analyst uh, role has been evolving into more of a domain consultant. It's uh, not, uh, earlier it was more focused on uh, gathering requirements, uh, talking about functional and non-functional requirements, being into the technical database management stuff, like everybody, like a DBA would also do some requirements, uh, software developer could also write some requirements. It, it basically depended on the understanding of an organization actually. Many yeah. people didn't uh, realize the importance of uh, business analysis because they were saving costs. And it yeah. was uh, more or less like a support function uh, for which uh, people uh, were not able to build, uh, build their clients for. But uh, now yeah. it has uh, more or less evolved to a domain uh, being more domain specific, sorry, industry specific. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> uh, today we'll be covering what is business analysis, what is uh, agile, uh, the common agile approaches, BA techniques in agile projects, uh, okay. see the whole point of view and think as a customer. So uh, since you more or less have a software development background, so I'll try and uh, include a lot of examples. And since it's an online webinar, so we'll try, if and when required, we'll try and search some uh, uh, diagrams or techniques so that it can it can help you understand. Uh, so my my goal for today is uh, uh, the, it's a, it's a two, two prong approach. So firstly, I want. Yeah you to be able to understand what, uh, how the business analysis and uh, function works and you should be able to understand what are the real dynamics of uh, all these things in the industry. You should also be able to understand the jargons. And then obviously there's a certification part as well, which I'll uh, tell you like, uh, obviously you will have to mug up all the definitions and all. I, I cannot help right. you with that. But I can help you understand like what thing, what all things are important and what's like the post structure and all. Sure. So uh, we're done with the personal introductions, right? Yeah. So first of all, we we'll talk about what is uh, business analysis. So business analysis is basically the uh, art of uh, gathering requirements from a client and uh, understanding what, what is the need of the client and documenting those particular requirements into different set of artifacts. In a traditional software model, we uh, do a lot of uh, documentation uh, called uh, software requirement specifications is there, wireframing is there. So basically, it all begins when the client uh, comes up with a need, like he wants to automate a particular process, he wants to build a new system, he's facing a particular problem, he's not able to churn out a uh, different report. There are, there are multiple use cases for that. So whenever you are able to understand the problem or need of the client and understand what are the business dynamics involved to that, in which environment the client is operating and uh, what are the different uh, parameters to which in, in which the problem exists. So analyzing all those things is part of a business analysis. The business analyst is responsible for uh, talking to the client, interviewing the client. So there are a lot of uh, techniques involved in the business analysis. The, uh, there are two or three very popular techniques. Uh, first one is uh, conducting surveys in order to uh, understand uh, the problem, asking the right questions. Then they are interviewing the different users which are available, which will be using the products. Then they've been brainstorming. Storyboarding is another technique when there you can uh, 
where you can translate the requirements into a form of a story and explain it uh, to the client so that the client is able to understand. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. So what is the scope of business analysis? So as you uh, already know that uh, the business analyst is the first point of contact with the client and the yeah. business analysis should be able to, the business analyst should be able to understand what the client wants and what are the timelines he's uh, looking at, what is the cost of the project and <coughs> What are the kind of uh, requirements the client has? So initially, so generally, uh, diff different organizations follow different suits. So, but what I have, what I have seen in the industry, the best practice is to uh, document the high-level requirements into a particular document. It could be a Word document or it could be an Excel document, and you need to change, you need to convert those particular requirements into very high level modules of a particular product. So for example, yep. for example, if we talk about an online, uh, online e-commerce shopping portal, right? So right. there'll be different modules, uh, there'll be different modules for which the client will be looking at, right? And, uh, so there'll be the home page, which has a list of all the product categories. Then there'll be uh, the user can actually flow into a particular product categories. He can select a particular product. There'll be a product description page where he can see all the details of the product. He can see the pricing. He can see the discounts. He can change the color. He can zoom in on the uh, image of the product. And then there'll be a checkout process. So, if you are if you're talking about a different uh, if if you're talking about an e-commerce portal, so these are like four or five major uh, modules for which your e-commerce portal should uh, will operate for the different uh, set of products, right? And yep. so once the client has come up with a requirement that okay, this is I want an e-commerce portal and this is the kind of business I'm ra running in, so we need to convert it into high level modules and then break it down, break it down into different sets of functionality. So that's the first first documents every business analyst should, should uh, start with. Secondly, <coughs> secondly, the document, uh, once the high level requirements or the modules have been converted, we should take it to a next level. So what all categories will come on the home page? How will you display the discounts? Will be, will be, will there be a banner image? What kind of branding uh, will the user want? What will be the outline of the product? So these are the kind of questions you need to ask the client. Nice. Secondly, what will be the checkout process? How many payment gateways will be integrated? Will be a, it, it will be a credit card integration. Will, will there be cash on delivery? How will you explain uh, what will be a, the return or the cancellation process. So these are the kind of basic questions which takes it to the next level and the client can. So you are also able to extract information from the client and you are also able to understand like, <coughs> sorry, you are also able to understand like what exactly the client is looking for. So they are, most of the clients, they come with very, very high level requirements. They do not, they just know how to build, how to do their business. They do not understand the internet world. They are users of the internet world, but they will not understand like how, how would a particular payment gateway, uh, <clears throat> how will a particular payment gateway run or how is eBay operating his business? They will have a high level idea of like, uh, what is a payment gateway? Okay, I can punch in my credit card number and my payment is, uh, Transacted, but they will not be able to understand the dynamics unless and until they get into it. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is the responsibility of a business analyst to get those details, understand at what level the client is, and explain all those details to them. So it is uh, the profile involves a lot of research into the domain. So initially, I told you that it, it is more focused towards the domain. Yeah. So. Next, 
uh, topic is about the competencies of a business analyst. So I strongly believe that <coughs> the business analyst should be a very, uh, very good listener. He should have, uh, he or she should have uh, good analytical skills, very, very good oral and written communication skills. I think these are four or five very basic skills. You should know when to uh, ask the right questions, when to keep your mouth shut. That, that's also an important quality, which I think uh, many people uh, don't realize, especially in client meetings. So they just, uh, they believe in asking the questions always. And the client, I've seen clients, clients getting irritated because uh, the, they are, uh, they are generally zoned out and they are trying to explain the requirements. But what people uh, get into a habit uh, is that they keep on reiterating the same stuff in different uh, forms, just to be uh, just be sure, just to be assured that okay, this is what the client wants, and he's like fully assured, uh, fully assured on this. But uh, that's what uh, irritates the clients. I've I've seen multiple times in my career. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So these are some uh, definitions of uh, business analysis. So it's a research discipline of identifying business needs and determining solutions to business problems. And that's the IIBA definition of uh, business analysis. It's a set of tasks and techniques used to work as a liaison among stakeholders in order to understand the structure, policies and operations of an organization and to recommend solutions that enable the organization to achieve its goals. Then there is this AIB definition of business analysis. Effective business analysis capability will drive successfully successful project execution and organizational performance improvement. So these are all very generic definitions, yeah. but yeah, that's that that's what comes in the exam, unfortunately. So okay. basically, a <clears throat> lot of uh, lot of researching is involved. It actually depends. Uh, nowadays, I'm I'm working with a product-based company, and uh, we uh, deal with a product which is basically focused towards on accounting and taxation for uh, New Zealand and Australia. Yeah. And uh, so, if we talk uh, before that, I was working in a service-based uh, organization, and we used to work on different projects which uh, came on board. So clients had different uh, different requirements, different, uh, so there were uh, projects of uh, magnitude, even ERP implementations were there. And there were some projects which uh, the customer wanted a, a small uh, Android or, or an iOS app, which had different integrations on board. So it depends on from organization to organization. Some, some would actually want to improve their processes or some would want a product to be built from scratch. Yeah. <coughs> so what is agile business analysis? Agile business analysis is about increasing the delivery of business value to the stakeholders of the project or the product being developed. So wherever, <coughs> wherever we we'll talk about agile, we'll definitely talk about the business value to the stakeholders. There are different methodologies of calculating the business value. And uh, we'll try and cover that uh, 